Good morning, everyone. It's Coach White here. Today's lesson, we're going to talk about perspective. Uh, I think this is one of the most important things when you uh, teach history today, or you, you, there's always two different perspectives, and that's what we're going to cover today. So perspective, break down the word per, means through. Spect, look or seeing. If, having the nature of. Perspective. You, in my classroom, I try not to give my perspective on too much, but there's still people put their perspective on things. And you always want to know where somebody's coming, what's their perspective. What words do you know with spect as the base? Here are these words. How are these words similar? Spectacles, spectator, inspection. Take a second and think about it. Obviously, spect means to looking or seeing, and those words all form from that word. So perspective is the way people view something. For example, how we each view a situation, a work of art, a piece of literature, a historical event, or even people. Some people go see a movie, they love it. Some people go see a movie and they don't like it. Different perspective. You can have one friend tell you how great something is. Another friend might tell you they didn't like it at all. That's perspective. So spotting a big cat while on safari is always exciting. Spotting a big cat when the grass is super tall, five feet in some areas, is even more exciting. Spotting five adult cheetahs when the grass is tall, it doesn't get better than that. We found these guys. They were getting ready to take down an adult wildebeest. Here you can see four of the five after missing the kill, scanning the horizon for a potential meal. Okay, so what is your perspective as a person seeing this picture for the first time? Pretend you are the artist. What is your perspective? Why did you paint this? Now that you're aware of Edvard's Munch life. Can you better understand his painting? If you didn't already, research him a little bit. So perspective is the way people view something such as a situation, a work of art, a piece of literature, a historical event, or even people. The learning target, I can explain and analyze the perspectives of different historical figures. Obviously, any war that you talk about, there's always two sides to the story. Um, a lot of times the wars have different names depending on which side you're on. Um, we might call the Vietnam War the Vietnam War. They might call it the American War. If there's two different historical perspectives on that. And I think it's always important to understand the different perspectives. <clears throat> 